Welcome to a captivating journey into the heart of an ancient myth, the tale of Hans and Hansli. Hi everyone, this is Sushmita, your host today, and I will be taking you into this enchanting story which takes us to a time when creation was still a celestial dance and the earth was a blank canvas waiting for life. Let's embark on this timeless narrative in our podcast of Shodhvahini Media Collective and discover the profound significance of Hans and Hansli in the universe's grand design. One day, Thakur made effigies of two birds from the scum of Thakran, which had been rubbed out from the skin above the clavicle bones. Thakur then threw these effigies of the two birds into the water of the ocean. As soon as the effigies were cast into the water, they came to life and started to float on the great ocean. The clavicle bones are called Hansli Jang. The birds were named Hans and Hansli. The male bird was named Hans and the female bird was named Hansli. On another day, while Thakran was taking a bath, some of her broken hairs floated in the water of the great ocean. Over time, these floating hairs transformed into seaweeds in the water, leading to the birth of lotus and other aquatic plants with the assistance of the seaweeds. Dharma was determined to create life on earth through the power of Aum. As a result, two lives, Hans and Hansli, descended from the sky in a whirlwind. At that time, there was no landmass on earth. The soil was submerged underwater and froth floated on the surface. Though these two lives resembled Hans and Hansli, they hesitated to descend when they saw the floating froth on the water. Consequently, they landed on the floating froth. In reality, Hans and Hansli were two beings created to bring life to earth. One was imbued with male attributes and the other with female attributes. Dharma endowed both lives with the ability to fly in the sky through the power of Aum. They appeared bird-like, leading to their names Hans the drake and Hansli the duck. Hans and Hansli were the seeds of life creation and appeared as two bird-like beings. Once Hans and Hansli gave birth to all living beings and humans on earth, they returned to Dharma. They perched on his body and Dharma absorbed them, granting them salvation. These two lives were male and female and their union was essential for the creation of life. New lives emerged from Dharma to all human beings, continuing the cycle of life returning to him. In this way, lives revolved in perpetual cycles. Wasn't it an interesting and such a magical story? I believe that there is magic everywhere and in every individual. It just needs to be discovered. The Santhals are such magical people who have weaved such interesting stories for us. Stay tuned for more such stories. Let's meet next week with a new magical story. Till then, bye!